Hey what's up guys, I'm Gunnix here and welcome back to a brand new Unity tutorial here on the channel. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about ray casting. Now I've actually taught about ray casting before in you know a bunch of my later tutorials where I teach you guys how to interact with certain objects like doors and stuff like that. But um, when it comes to like um, a lot of my earlier tutorials, I did teach another method of interaction which was using triggers attached to the camera. And that's not really the best method of interaction, uh, that's why I started using ray casting later on. And whilst I've been using ray casting, I haven't actually made a tutorial just on ray casting itself. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm going to be making this tutorial. So if you're someone who doesn't know how ray casting works, this tutorial is just only going to be about ray casting itself. So uh, yeah, so if you do enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, if you do find it helpful, be sure to consider like, commenting, and subscribing. And yeah, let's get right into it. So first up here I have my player, and uh, as you can see it's just got, you know, some pretty basic stuff attached to it. But yeah, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a Raycast script which we're going to be attaching to the player's camera. And then I'm going to show you guys some basic stuff to do with Raycasting, like how to, you know, uh, get information from an object. Uh, based on what the raycast is hitting and stuff like that and how to interact with objects which a raycast is hitting and uh, yeah So what we're gonna be doing to get started off here is we're just gonna get right into creating the script Since that's what raycasting has a lot to do with is it's mainly just a lot of scripting So I'm gonna call this uh, raycast interact You guys can call your script whatever you want to call it and we're just gonna open it up yeah, as I said before, I have, uh, you know, shown how to do ray casting before in other tutorials based on other things where you interact with objects, right? But yeah, I haven't made a tutorial on ray casting itself, which is why I'm doing this today. Alrighty, so when it comes to variables, um, there are a few variables that we will need, or at least want. So the first thing is a public float, and we'll call this raycast distance. So, uh, for those who don't know what a float is, is it's basically a number which has decimal points at the end of it. So an integer, or an int as it's called for short, is basically just whole numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then floats are numbers which have decimal points, so like 5.0, 6.0, or 7.412, or 8.1969, you know, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so what public means is that means that we can assign this variable publicly in the Unity editor, so without having to assign it in the script itself. So it's more flexible that way. And uh, yeah, and then once you type that out, just put the uh, little thing at the end there. Alright, so our next variable we'll need is a public layer mask, and we'll just call this layers. So what this will be is this will be the layers that the raycast can hit. So if uh, an object is on a layer which isn't, you know, uh, ticked on this uh, layers uh, variable for the raycast interact script, then that means that the raycast will just shoot right through uh, any object that uh, it, its layers aren't uh, assigned to on the layer mask. Alright, so if there's any other variables that I can think of adding that we might need, I'll add them later on, but they're the only two important ones I can think of for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get straight to void update. And we're just going to get started. So if physics.raycast... Oh, and I just noticed I uh, forgot to explain what void update is. So a void, for those who don't know, is a function, and then update, this basically just means that this uh, will be happening every frame, so void update is used for things which happen every frame. So we have physics.raycast, and then transform.position, so this basically uh, determines the position from which the raycast shoots from, and transform.position, the reason as to why I'm just writing transform.position is because this script will be attached to our player's camera, so transform will just be our player's camera's position. So transform.position, transform.forward, out hit, raycast distance, oh. And then layers. 
And then that should be pretty much it for the uh, Raycast line. So what I'm going to do now is just to check that this is all uh, correct, I am going to go into the... Oh wait, <laughs> sorry guys. So um, one thing that I actually forgot to add is a hit variable. So what this is, is we need to go Raycast... I think it's just Raycast hit, yeah like that. And basically uh, what this does is we need to go Raycast hit hit. So what hit is, is it's basically the thing that is used to get the information from an object that the Raycast is hitting. So when the Raycast hits an object, uh, hit will be used uh, to collect that information. So now let's check if that is all correct. And yep, that is all good. The Raycast uh, line of code is all good. So you'll know that your code is all good if when you go back into the Unity Editor um, you get no errors and it says reloading script assemblies, that's when you know that you've done everything all right. Now before I actually do show you guys how to uh, collect information from an object, one thing which I actually uh, forgot to do properly was just explain how all this uh, code here works, this line here. So basically we just have if physics.raycast, so this basically means if the raycast is hitting something, so if the raycast is hitting something, and it's shooting from the transform.position. So transform.position just refers to the position of which this script is attached to. So if this script is attached to your camera, your player's camera, then transform will be your player's camera. And then transform.forward, so that means that the raycast will be shooting forward from the position of which this script is attached to. Then out hit, so this hit variable here is basically just used to collect information from the object that the raycast is hitting. And then raycast distance, so this is the distance from which the of which the raycast will uh, you know shoot at. So yeah, and then we have layers, which will basically determine the layers the raycast can hit. And uh, yeah, so that I think is a pretty good explanation of how this raycast line of code works. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be collecting uh, information from the from the hit variable. Uh, depending on what object the uh, Raycast hits. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be printing out this. So we're going to be going print hit dot collider dot game object dot name. I think that should work out. I think we can just uh, print out the name of an object just like that. Let's see. And yeah, we can. Boom. Alrighty. So what we're going to be doing here is an example for this tutorial to start off with is uh, when the Raycast is hitting any object, so it doesn't matter what object the Raycast is hitting, just if it's hitting any object, uh, we're going to be printing out the name of that object so then we know uh, what object it is hitting. And this is basically just an example to show how collecting information with a uh, Raycast uh, works. So yeah. Anyways, now that we've got this base script done, what we're going to do is we're going to apply this to our player's camera. So let's just... Uh, Wait, where on earth is my... Is this the script I just made? Because I have multiple uh, scripts related to Raycast in this uh, project here. But yeah, I think this is uh, the script I just made, right? Yeah, it is. Raycast Interact. Alright. So, with your Raycast distance, you want to uh, set this to whatever you want to. Uh, usually when you're interacting with objects, it might be something like 2 you want to set it to or 1 or whatever, um, usually uh, I set it to about 2, but for the purpose of this tutorial, so then we can actually, you know, like, hit objects and stuff like that, uh, I'm just going to set it to, like, 6, just so then we can hit objects from, like, a distance. And then uh, with the layers, we'll just set it to everything, and uh, I'll remove the player from the layer, so then the Raycast isn't accidentally hitting ourselves by any means. And, uh, yeah. So by the way, if um, you want to not have the Raycast interact with certain objects, just yeah, make sure you don't uh, select the layer in your uh, layers uh, variable here. And if you want to like set an object to a particular layer in case you don't know how to, just select an object. And then um, in the top right in the inspector, you should see a thing here which says layer, and then you can change the layer if you want to, or you can add a new layer. And then you can just go like, uh, like blah, 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 for example. And then you can just assign that to that layer, and yeah. Righty, so that there is um, pretty much how the base Raycast works. Now let's actually uh, go and test this out. Alrighty, so now that we're all done and we've got this uh, base Raycast uh, stuff assigned, now let's get into testing it out. 
Alrighty, so if you look down in the bottom left hand corner, you can actually see that it says cube, and that's because the object that I'm hitting right now is called cube. And then if I look at this, it says I'm hitting cube 4, and then I'm hitting cube again, cube 4, now cube 1, cube 3, cube 2. You guys get the point. So basically, when I'm hitting these objects, it is printing out the name of what I'm hitting. So the raycast is hitting the object, and then the hit variable is collecting the information, and then I'm able to print out that, that information so then I can actually uh, see what object is being hit. So yeah, that there is how raycasting works when it comes to uh, collecting information from objects. Now I'm going to show you guys how to actually interact with objects. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop playing. And we're going to do some base interaction here. So what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do is destroy an object based on uh, if you're looking at it or not. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be going, uh, so if physics.raycast, transform.position, blah blah blah, yep, we'll just keep all that the same. And then uh, not only will we print out the, uh, the name of an object, but we'll also be doing this. So if input dot get key down, key code dot, and you guys can do whatever key you want here, whether it be E, W, S, Q, whatever. It doesn't really matter, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to be doing E. So if input dot get key code, uh, uh, I'm sorry, if input dot get key down, key code dot E. So that means that if we press down the E key, what will happen is hit dot collider dot game object dot set active false. So basically we'll be turning the object off. And now let's test this out. And now let's look at the object and press E and boom it is now gone. And we'll do the same thing here and here and as you guys can see I am just slowly erasing objects. Um, and yeah now there's nothing else in the scene. If I click on this floor boom now the floor is gone and there's no more floor now. So yeah so anyways guys, that is a pretty simple tutorial on how Raycast works in Unity. Uh, if, if you felt like this tutorial helped you out and you understand more about Raycasting now, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more. But before I do end this tutorial guys, there's actually one more thing that I want to show you guys, and that's, and that's how to interact with only like certain particular objects. So let's say for example, um, you only want your Raycast to interact with an object uh, that is called Cube 3 maybe. So if it's uh, if, so if parentheses, if hit dot collider dot game object dot name equal to cube free. And the reason as to why I'm doing cube free is because it is literally an object in my scene called cube free. So if hit dot collider dot game object dot name equal to cube free, then we'll be able to actually uh, delete that particular object. So if you only want your Raycast to interact with certain objects, you can do that just by doing stuff like this, or you can even detect uh, if it has a certain script. So if you want to get the component, get a component attached to that particular object to check for a, a particular component, then you can do that as well. And uh, yeah, so now let's actually quickly test this out before I do end the tutorial. Alrighty, so now that we're all good with that, let's go play. And now, as you can see, when I try interacting with just any object, oh, it worked for that because that's called cube free. But if I try any interacting with any object here, like if I try pressing E, I can't actually delete anything now because these objects can't be interacted with. But as you guys just saw then, I did delete cube free since that was able to be interacted with. And again, too, you can also use layers to make sure certain objects can't, in can't be interacted with as well if you want to. And uh, yeah. So anyways again guys, that is the end of this tutorial, if you did enjoy be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more, and uh, yeah, be sure to check out my game You Are Liam Shadow Memories on Steam, you can go wishlist it if you want to, and uh, also maybe even check out Bodhi and Friends as well, consider uh, buying that if you want, and yeah, I'll see you all next time, bye bye.